Hi everyone, this is a second video for the Huddle Huddle Bitcoin Exchange, the testnet version, in which I'm going to show you how to add your own offers into the buy bitcoins or sell bitcoins list. So let's make a browser page a little bit bigger. And let's say I want to create a sell offer. So I want to sell bitcoins. And I will select the country for my offer, which is going to be Afghanistan in this case. And um, I actually could specify the region and the city, which is not completely necessary because most of the time you want to sell or buy bitcoins with the payment methods available in a particular country uh, and not just city. So for now, let's remove city and region, just leave the country. Now the second thing I would have to think of is how to set the price for the offer. And you have two options here, which is exact number and exchange rate off. And the exact number is not what you really want because you don't want to be thinking about price changes of Bitcoin every minute. And uh, therefore, it's better to just tie your price to a particular exchange rate, let's say on Bitstamp, and just add 1%, which is going to be my premium. The next thing is the amount that I'm willing to trade. And, uh, you know, since we're in testnet, I really have no limits. And then I'm going to set the number of confirmations required for the contract. This is Bitcoin transaction confirmations. And finally, I need to select the payment methods with which I would like to receive the payment for the Bitcoins that I'm trying to sell. And in this case, I'm going to select PayPal and there's already an account number associated with this payment method for me. And now I click Save and Preview and you can see that the offer was saved, but it's not currently seen by other traders. And to do that, I obviously need to come back and click Save and Publish. And now this offer can be found by other traders. I can disable it at any time or I can enable it back. And then let's go to the Buy Bitcoins page because this is an offer to sell. Therefore, this is an offer that's going to appear in Buy Bitcoins for other traders. And let's select Afghanistan and apply filters. And here it is. Here's my offer. Now, including the PayPal payment method and all other options that I set in the offer form. So let's edit it a little bit more. And um, I'd like to actually specify region and city for Afghanistan. And you can see that Kabul was not added. And so I'm going to be the first one to add this region and city. And now in the Buy Bitcoins list, you can see that uh, the offer was updated and now the location includes region and city. Now let's do a couple of additional changes to the offer. What I want to do here is talk about time constraints. The payment window here means the time during which the contract has to be finalized. That is, all the payments have to be made before this time expires. Otherwise, the contract's going to be canceled and nobody's going to be happy. And working hours is basically the time during which the offer is active. It used to be active 24 hours. Now it's just two hours a day. And you can see that it's not available. We can go to the Buy Bitcoins list and click apply filters and it's not going to be here. So let's come back to my offers. And here it is. It says inactive precisely because it's working hours is actually just two hours a day. So let's change that to let's say Working hours end at 7 p.m. and they start at 9 a.m. Well, 
Well, the offer is still not available, and I wonder why. And I think this is because I did not specify the time zone in my profile. So the time zone is actually incorrect. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to change the time zone to be a little bit closer to where I actually am. And I'm going to enter my password and save the changes. OK. Let's come back to the offer. And just in case, let's uh, widen working hours a little bit. And let's say they start at 5 o'clock in the morning. And let's click Save. And now the offer is active and can be found by other traders. The last thing I wanted to show you is how to work with payment methods. You can actually add more than one. So we already have PayPal and now let's add another one. It's going to be phone refill. You can type true move in here. There's already a payment method with this name. I actually already have one in my account, so the payment details are going to be filled automatically. Now I want to add another one. It's going to be a new payment method for Afghanistan. And actually, any user can add a new payment method for a given country, and it will be available to all other traders when they create offers. So let's call this payment method something very custom. It's a stupid name for a payment method, but whatever. And I'm going to have to come up with an instruction name for this very custom method. And actually specify the payment details to which I'm going to receive money for my Bitcoins. And then I click Save. Now let's go to the Buy Bitcoins page and see if payment methods were updated. I'm going to select Afghanistan again. And you can see that now this offer has three payment methods, which is great. Let's say I wanted to add a new offer and select the payment method that I used for the previous offer. Now, it's not currently in the list, and this is because I need to select the country first with which that newly added payment method was associated and now you can see it's in the list and I won't have to type any payment details again. They will be filled automatically. I also wanted to show you how to remove the existing payment methods and payment instructions from the offer uh, if you no longer want to associate them with uh, particular offers. This is just as easy as it looks. I just click the Remove button on top of the payment method and then click Save. And now there's a slight difference between buy and sell offers. And the difference is in the payment methods form. You can see now we only have two fields and this is because this is because if this is a buy offer then I only need to specify which payment methods I can pay the seller with. This is it. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions or bug reports, please join our Telegram channel. And we're also on Twitter. The links are on the screen. See you next time.